Hi, this is Cass from Aussie Cass Plays, and welcome to Season 2, Part 32, I think, of my 100 Vampire Baby Challenge. So, I've just been fighting with The Sims hair colours. I'm assuming this is a custom content glitch. I realised when I was editing that Phoebe was actually born with black hair, or like when she aged up into a toddler, she had black hair, and for some reason it had changed to that light ginger coloured hair when she became a child. So I went in to edit that back and that stuck. But then I tried to change Quinn's hairstyle because they had the same hair. And now that the hair colors are the same, it was very visually confusing to me. And then Quinn's hair changed to be ginger and then it changed to be blonde. And I just can't get a color to stick on this child. She's giving me super Daenerys vibes, which I really love, but that is not her hair color. So I know it doesn't matter. It's not part of the 100 Baby Challenge. I just felt like I wanted to collect hair colors, but I think we've actually had pretty much all the hair colors now. Anyway, the reason I'm getting a cake out is because this boy came home an A student from school, which is very exciting. So that means we can age him out. I've done his photo shoot already. So he is actually ready to go. So this is my wall of photos. That means we've moved out 15 teens, which is pretty cool. I do. I'm going to miss Oliver. He's pretty been pretty cool. Been a pretty cool member of the household and no one's come to watch him celebrate his birthday. Sorry, bud. All right. We're going to age him up. Oh, Lily sent him a gift. That's nice. He's a natural cook and a bad cook and a writer. Hmm. It's a bit weird. That's all right. Because I'm not going to have to uh, play with him after this. So... I'll add some birthday candles to that. Oh, look, here she comes. And I would put a plasma fruit in his inventory, but honestly... Oh, are you sick? Oh, you've got a headache. Well, that's fine. You're done with school. You're an adult now. You can go out into the world and be an adult and do adulty stuff. So I will just quickly move him out and then I'll get back to you guys. All right, you guys, we're back and we have an all-girl household, which is a bit weird now. I realized, I've just sent the girls off to do a few bits and pieces, but I realized that Phoebe is also a grade A student, which I also didn't notice. My cane is running super laggy. I don't really know why. Yeah, I, I obviously missed that as well. I've turned off my UI noises and the game, like, I feel like because I'm used to the hat, sort of music that you get when the Sims get home from school and suddenly I'm not getting that anymore. And I they'd been home for like 20 minutes before I even noticed. So that's great. So, yeah, I hadn't noticed that they'd both gone to be A students at first. So that's fine. I'm just having her eat because even though she's a vampire, when she ages up, She's going to, like, because she's a vampire, she's going to need plasma fruit. And this is all the plasma fruit I have. I honestly don't know. I went and I picked a bunch and I don't know where they've gone. The only reason that Hannah's thirst is so high is because I bit the repairman when he showed up. Now he's gone. So I'm just going to replace that because, frankly, I just can't be bothered anymore. So I don't know. I don't know what happened to them. I did definitely have a bunch. Is that Caleb? Hey, Caleb. Nah, not super interested in spending time on you, buddy. Sorry. It's that whole, uh, you're a vampire and I can't have kids with you thing. I mean, maybe it would be nice to have, like, some continuity. Oh, and Eve's here as well. Maybe it'd be nice to have some continuity in the men in her life, like, because she outlives all of the daddies. <laughs> yeah, maybe that would be good. Oh, this one must have been Oliver. Because it's now saying it has no owner. I wonder if I can replace it. Nah, it's not going to work. She can assist with it. If I destroy it, can you start again? That'd be interesting. All right, you can stop doing that. I'm wondering. I'm going to give that a shot. So I'm going to have her come down here and destroy this. And then I'll see if she can actually start it. This one is Phoebe's. So now that Phoebe's got a full belly, I'm going to age her up. Hopefully that means she, her thirst won't be too high when she turns into a vamp. That would be amazing. All right, Lilith, can you fly here as a bat, my darling? That would be lovely. Oh, she won't. 
Should we get here in time? On account of the whole... I've got other actions queued. All right. So she's a natural gamer and tone deaf. What's the number between 1 and 12? A random number between 1 and 12 is 1. And she's an animal lover and has amazing hair. I love it. All right. Can I get you to pop some candles on that? And then... <laughs> Did you tick off the egg thing you did? The bunny showed up earlier, but then it left again. So I'm guessing none of my kids are going to check that off. Why has she got the on the road to fame notification? That is so weird to me. <laughs> like what? Hannah's already on the road to fame and she didn't do anything that should have earned her fame. There we go. Sitting there giggling to yourself, queen, you little weirdo. All right. Go to the bathroom and get changed now. I will need to give her a bit of a makeover just to... Oh, she's so pretty. Look at her. She needs a bit of a makeover. I like the outfit. It's the hair mainly that I'm here for. But I need to get her team exit photo. So I'll have to get that done. Ooh, and Hannah's gone up. Oh my god. We're only two steps away from finishing. Okay, I was going to get her sun resistance, as I recall. That gives us three points left over. We could take a cult master. I actually didn't realize we didn't have that. There you go. Good work, Hannah. Uh, I really want to be friends with someone, but they don't seem to really want to be friends with me. How can I make them be my friend? You can't. They suck and just don't be needy. All right. Just keep being friendly. <laughs> there was no you can't. They suck. Just bite them. There was no option for that. Now she's ready to go to school. Uh, I don't think she's been to school yet, Quinn. So she'll be ready for that. All right, you need to do like homework and stuff. And given that she started this project, I'm gonna have her work carefully on that. Can we? Yeah, there's no option to do anything with this. So I'm guessing we just sell it. It's a bit annoying, but. Yeah, if she wants to go work on her robotics project that she already started, that would be great. And that maybe I'll buy her another one and that can be her skill. Because the only other one we have at the moment is the, it calls it constructor bridge, but it looks like it's a picture of a basketball on the side. I don't know. Quinn, where are you? Uh, sweetie, it's cold. What are you doing? It's like 10.30 at night. She was really tired when she aged up. So I had her go to bed earlier when the kids are at school and obviously her kind of body clock has been thrown off. Ooh, we can evolve our tree. I was thinking we should catch some fish because I want to fertilize this thing and have it become super awesome. The only things I have to fertilize it with are actually veg and stuff. And I think fish is the best fertilizer in the game from memory. Is there a fishing spot in Forgotten Hollow? I feel like there is. Why can I not fish off this awesome bridge? That would be cool. I love the whole fly here is about thing. It's so efficient. Should be there in like a half a second. There we go. Here I am. That would have been half an hour of walking for anyone else. Heavily pregnant and fishing in the middle of the night. I mean, what's not to love? All right. And I can turn fish into plasma pack things as well. That's a great idea. We should definitely do that. All right. Can you um not be... What are you doing now? She wants to come chat to her sister. All right. Maybe she could take a bath. She needs some social. I might have her come and talk to Bear Killer. No, don't call him names. Why do I always do that? I'm such a bad person. We're basically waiting for Hannah to have her baby. It'll be interesting to see whether um, it's a boy because obviously at the moment we have an all girl household. I do feel like I don't have the stats to back this up because I haven't crunched the numbers. I could, I have a list of every baby we've ever had, but I feel like we've had more girls. Be interesting to have a look through. All right, so she can go do her robotics project and then I'm gonna get Piku Piku over here to maybe she can empty the potties. We don't have a housekeeper anymore. I was contemplating trying to like murder the housekeeper that we had because she broke in. 
and it's going to lame up. But, you know, we're mean, not evil. And this isn't my celebrity gold digger challenge. All right, I'm going to have her fly back to the house because we have a fish there. So I'm going to have her do that. So let's fly here as a bat. Oh, I can't fertilize it right now because I'm in pain. I mean, it's fair. All right, then it's time to have the baby at the hospital. Eve says, I should really get going. Eve, honey, can you hang around just a tiny bit longer, please? I would like you to look after the kids while I'm gone. I mean, we've got the teen, so it should be fine. But yeah, we're going to go have this baby. Maybe it'll be a boy, I wonder. I do have my list of names here. I'm sure you can hear me rustling it. So we've had Rowan, so that means we're up to S names. I have a couple of names written down. I have Seth and Suki. So they're both very cool names. No, don't leave Eve. All right, let's check in at the front desk. Nalani is still a nurse, not a doctor. She must have been deemed too flaky as a mermaid because you flake. You get fish and it's called flake. And if she doesn't stay in water, she gets flaky and hurt like she gets a buff. Anyway, ha ha ha. I should be ashamed of myself. It's like, I'm just, I, can I go have my baby now? That'd be great. All right, let's do it. Hospital gown. Oh, it's the doctor. Did I end up saying hi to him last time? I was trying to. Hi. I'm not going to do anything that will like, I wonder if there's eggs in this. No. Um, I'm not going to do anything that would interrupt the delivery because I have caused this thing to glitch out before. So I'll wait. Bunny hunt was awful. Yeah, it was. Bunny hunt is over. So I think Phoebe and Oliver were the only ones who actually did anything for bunny hunt. Great. <laughs> I tried to have Rowan talk to the bunny, but she was not interested because she was very tired by that point. Come on, I want to see if it's a Suki or a Seth. It's a boy. It's a Seth. Baby Seth. So, not with a four. Seth Corby. Welcome to the family. And it's a girl. Oh my gosh. Our T name is Tegan. Tegan. No, Tegan. There we go. Welcome to the family, little ones. Oh, Tegan got a vampire bassinet. Does that mean she's a vampire? <laughs> interesting. Interesting. We'll see. They obviously both had the vampire symbol, but we've learned the hard way that that means absolutely nothing. So I won't read too much into it. Do we not have a man lined up? Because Jack was the one with the mohawk that turned up on New Year's Eve. And that was Jack's kids that we just had. And the other one that we were hitting on, it turned out we were related to, like closely related to. Not that I knew. To be fair, it wasn't my fault. But yeah, it turns out she was related. So uh, yeah, I don't think we have a man lined up. Let's fly upstairs. See to your needs. I know that you will both not be crying, but really be crying because that's how it works. So we'll superficial baby care Seth, and then we will feed and mandrolically do all of the baby interactions. All right, welcome to the family, my little. Oh, this one's got a nappy situation. So once she's taking that down to the bin. How is our fame? Solid level two. Yes, I know I'm coming. I already spotted it. You don't have to whinge. And then I need to seduce me a man that I'm not related to. And then take a photo of this one, Phoebe. I don't know what I'm going to put her in. I love the hair. The hair is definitely a feature and is gonna stay. I love it. Maybe some kind of yellow. What the hell are you wearing? I hate this. This is an island living bikini set. Obviously the colors don't match. They come in matching colors, I think, tops and bottoms, but I hate that they're, it looks knitted. Like, who knits a bikini? <laughs> that really bothers me. Cool, all right, you have a robot. Good work. Now, how high is whatever skill that was? Programming, you say. Can you possibly put some clothes on? <laughs> Great. She's very thirsty. Oh my god, we've got so little plasma fruit. It makes me really sad. Ooh, we've got plasma fruit out here. All right, harvest all. 
Let's do it. Oh, now she's got the gardening skill. There's so much stuff to do out here that I feel like she could get to level three just with this. Hannah, you also need to get dressed. Oh, it's love day. Bollocks. Um, now, she's not going to age out. It's actually a Friday and she's not going to age out before the weekend because there's no way on this earth I'm getting her a skill to level three in the next two hours. Super annoying. Now, I do have a gardener coming today, so I might just have her continue to do that. It's cool weather. Let's go. We never see her cool weather gear. Let's put her in that. That's cute. I like it. The hat doesn't quite go with the shirt, but that's fine. I wonder if I can find just a random man on the street so that I don't have to, like, leave the lot. Hello, random man. Are you here anywhere? Random man, not a vampire, and not someone I am related to. That would be wonderful. In the meantime, the teen's, like, embarrassed. I'm like, yep, fair. <laughs> I would be embarrassed, too, if my mum was just like, Hello, universe, I need someone to get me pregnant. Hasty, what? Hastily completed from completing a poor quality school project. But it wasn't, though. Oh, well, it was, but like it wasn't hastily completed. She actually, I selected work carefully, I thought. Maybe I didn't, I don't know. Be embarrassed, whatever. You need to eat. Can I get you, give those to your mum, but then come in here. I don't know what happened to my plasma fruit. I know I keep saying that because when it was bunny hunt day, I was trying to put some plasma fruit out on the table. She did have it in her inventory and it wasn't working. Like, it kept freaking out and stuff. Like, I thought it would be gone when bunny hunt day was over. But it turns out what was gone was my fruit. <laughs> so, that's great. All right. I just figured I'd get her to eat the veg in her inventory for breakfast. She ha she should become a B student today. But Phoebe is not going to age out today. All right. So, we kind of... I The gardener will turn up and take care of the weeds. If she doesn't, maybe I'll have Phoebe deal with it and she can work on her gardening skill. I mean, that would be one option. She has already started her programming, though. She's going to school. Quinn's also going to school. Have a great day, kids. Have a wonderful time. All right. We're off to school. Study hard. Study hard. This one is still asleep, in which case... Obviously, it's time to get out and about. Think about the brown-haired doctor. Whether he... Well, I don't even remember what his name was. Like, whether I could invite him to come somewhere with me. Where's a nice, not typically sunny venue? So, not Solani, Strangerville, or Oasis Springs. Is there anything interesting to do in Willow Creek, she says? I guess we could go to the Blue Velvet. What was his name again? Was it this guy? Theo Allison. Maybe Theo would like to, you know, invest in his future work. Let's pitch it that way. If you get me pregnant, then I have to deliver the baby. And that gives you something to do. A meaningful life thing to do. That's a thing, right? All right. Uh, let's give him a gift. What have I got kicking around? Medicine? <laughs> I don't know. Let's give him a common upgrade part. Luckily, it's cloudy, so I can be out in the sun. I don't have to give him flowers on account of being mean. I need to go on a date. I'm happy to just do love day stuff. Let's beguile him. And then we'll brighten his day. He's dressed very shabbily for a doctor, I have to say. He's got, like, patches and rips and stuff. Like... He looks more like a gamer geek, based on the cliches of gamer geeks, obviously. To be fair, I am a gamer geek. Oh, he's single. That's unusual for us. Let's exchange numbers and flirt and hang on. Let's take advantage of the fact that we're a vampire and actually use our powers that we have. So we'll use Alluring Visage and then we'll compliment his appearance. Oh, no, wait, it's putting things in, in the wrong order. All right. No, we're not talking. Stop talking. 
Stop socializing. Come on. He looks better in his doctor's outfit. Could you change into your doctor's outfit? I know I said that you look like a nerd, but maybe we could like role play where you're a doctor and I'm a vampire. Okay, it's not role playing. Uh, pick up line. And is there a woohoo location here? I'm going to guess probably not. Ask a risque yeah. question. Confess attraction. Fist pump the air. Throw love day confetti. And kiss under the mistletoe. We haven't had first kiss yet. I thought by now, surely we should have first kiss by now. First kiss, here we go. Woo! See, I like hanging a first kiss after kiss on the mistletoe, under the mistletoe. It doesn't make sense. All right, is there a woohoo venue here? Beautiful. Ignore the fact that it has, it's obviously growing out of a gap in the tiles. Just ignore that part. It's fine. Here's a woohoo bush we prepared earlier. Oh, I haven't got my pregnancy message and we're not at home. So it's less likely, to, she's less likely to get pregnant. Not less likely to get pregnant, less likely to be a vamp. I've got an idea. Ignore that part where I just put down the woohoo bush. We're going to ask on a date. Can we go on a date to a spa? That's my question. Because if we can, where did I put down my spa that I made? I think we killed Chris Hemsworth at the spa. But Hannah's not one to, you know, dwell on old times. Also, that was like, like probably decades or even a century ago because Chris Hemsworth was her second baby daddy and we're now up to baby 30 something. So, I mean, her original kids, oh my God, it's Lovely. disgustingly sunny here. All right, we need to get inside. Stat, quick, quick, you're burning. Because we can woohoo him in the sauna and get pregnant in the sauna. And that would be okay. And then I can come in here and I can get my fertility massage from this person whose name I can't pronounce. Kalamainu Iona? Kalamai. I call her Kala. Oh, she's cute. Brittany Collette. I dig that outfit. That's really cute. All right. So I'm going to get my pregnancy massage. I know this isn't a great date. I only said have a date just because. Uh, Hannah, get out of the sun, you daft woman. Fly here as a bat. Oh my God, this is not how I want to get my next matriarch, by killing the previous one. Get a massage, get a fertility massage from this lady. Come on. Thanks. All right. Here we go. And maybe we'll do date stuff. Is there somewhere I can actually sit and talk at this venue? Oh, there are, like, little benches here. Oh, and I do have a couch over here. Okay. I mean, I didn't build this to be a date venue, to be fair. So now we can sit together. Hi, naked Gemma. Oh, here he comes. He's also naked. That's not awkward at all. I mean, I was critiquing his outfit before. Maybe he was just like, well, I can, you know take care of that uh no i need to talk to you in some way on the chair sit down sit down hannah hannah sit oh quinn's a b student and phoebe is not okay uh let's ask about his love life okay fine you know what i don't care i don't care we're not we're not here for that this is all getting a bit strange. <laughs> Plan outfits. I mean, he's naked. What do you can do? Throw love day confetti. Oh, the kids have returned from daycare because the teen is at home. Teen will be fine with that, I'm sure. I'll just do these three flirty interactions. Can we try for a baby with Theo? Let's do it. Caleb's here and he's not naked. You'll all be pleased to know. All right, I need to kiss my date. Can we all stop getting in the way? I'm worried I'm going to click on the wrong sim. And then he's going to get really upset because I'm going to accidentally, like, kiss someone who... Can we all get out of the way? Oh, my God. All right. I was worried I was going to click on someone else and be like, choose a romantic interaction. And then this guy would be like, hang on, what? 
I thought I was the one you went on a date with. All right. While they're doing that, I'm just going to queue up some of these other interactions. That's, we have an erratic massage therapist over here, Yusuf Desai, who has black hair. I'm really on the lookout for brown haired daddies. So black hair, I mean, you're blonde. I can introduce myself to Davion, the reflexologist. It's a shame Caleb isn't eligible. Because I would definitely go there. Alright. Uh, I'll do a cheerful introduction to this guy as well. Oh, I cancelled out all my, like, kiss your date and stuff. No. I wanted to do that still. I don't want it to be a dud date. Come on. Just say hi. Glutton, good, and neat. Cool. Now I need to go and do a pregnancy test in here because this is why she came she's obviously got one in her purse or something stop talking to him i don't care spice festivals in town i love that this person just walks through the door of the spa who who is this they look like they could be related to me they're not but yeah she walks through the door of the spa first thing she sees naked people making out i mean awkward encounter yes that is correct give my date a massage on the chair? <laughs> it's never an option. Have you noticed that? Give massage and kiss passionately are the two hardest things to find. Oh wait, you need to go do that pregnancy test. Come on. He's weak at the knees. Yes, I have that effect on people. Millie is standing there talking to herself. Gold medal date. All right, but are we pregnant though? That's really what I'm here for. Yes, we are. And that's all I care about. You can go now. No, wait. Wait, wait, wait. 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 Stop. There we go. Hey, so, uh, yeah, I know. It's fine, though, right? <laughs> because here's the thing. I don't want you in my life anymore. Hooray. <laughs> and he's like, oh, you're breaking my heart. He actually, like he, although I got the little hand up kind of stop thing, he actually kind of looked pleased about it. Anyway, it's fine. So she's hungry. So I'm going to like, oh my God, he just walked through a window. Can I call this person over? Probably not because I haven't introduced myself to him. Hey, my massage therapist is here. Like my actual massage therapist. Maybe she'll come over to me. Ooh, hey, Alicia. Nah, she's too wise. Too wily in the ways of vampire. This is Marlon, who we've had a kid with previously. Can I call him over? Fine, I'll bite Alicia. I was going to say that I thought maybe um, we don't need a deep drink. And now, of course, he's walked in on me. That's great. <laughs> Wanted a little privacy, people. You've all come in. Rude. How rude. All right. Uh, I will flatter her and give her a gift. As a thank you. Let's give her a death flower because that's the kind of girl I am. Giving creepy presents to people since 2019. All right. Thank you very much for letting me bite you. Can we go? I'm bored. <laughs> it's like, you scrubby girl. Oh, whatever. All right. I'm going to go home, get the kids sorted for school. Actually, it's Friday night, isn't it? Isn't that? Oh, Marlon, I don't care. Go away. I only was going to call you over to bite you. I figured that Marlon, if he saw Hannah walking around naked and then she called him over, given the way things have played out in the past, might leap to certain conclusions around her intent that would not, in this case, have been correct. All right, well, I'm not actually in this part here. I'll get these guys sorted. I might do Phoebe's photo shoot off screen and I will catch you guys next time. So if you've enjoyed, like and subscribe, you know the drill, and I'll catch you later. Bye.